it is. But next time, next time we get bored, just think, what would a hippopotamus look like in a bathtub of cold water? All right, so everybody has a everybody has a point of slope, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. So what we previously learned how to do um, is we were given a point of slope, but we were given it on a graph, and we were said, you know, find the equation of the line. So we were given something, and you know, we were given like, oh, it looks like that, and you know, I don't know, it goes through a point, whatever. But what we previously did was we just found what the x and y intercepts were. Or actually, we didn't even care about the x-intercept. But what we did was we just found what this point was, which was the y-intercept, and then we determined what the slope was, right? And from knowing what the y-intercept was and what determining how to find the slope, we could write the equation of the line. Well, what if we're just given a point and a slope, and they say, you know, just find it algebraically? Um, you could always, guys, always flip over your piece of paper and graph this, okay? You guys can plot the point, negative 1, 4, and then find use the slope to find the y-intercept. Once you find the y-intercept, you're already given the slope. You can write the equation of the line. However, let's look at a way how to algebraically solve this. So we know that the equation of the line in slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope, right, and b is our y-intercept, correct? Is this point our y-intercept? Is it? No, remember our y-intercept is when x is equal to 0, yes. right? Our y-intercept is at 0 comma b. So your x value has to be 0. So, all right. So what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Well, I want everybody to take the slope that they have. And we know that our, my slope is negative 1. You can plug your slope into the equation of the line, right? Yes. So let's do that. Why don't everybody take your slope and let's put it in for your equation of your line. Right? We know that's the equation of the line. We know m is slope. So if I gave you a slope, let's plug it in. Okay? Now, the next thing is we still need to figure out what our b is. Right? We need to figure out what the y-intercept is. So the only other information we're given is we're given this point, which we call xy. Right? Every point has an x and a y. And guys, the bell rings, just let me go through, okay? So here's my point x, y. Well, where do you guys think I can plug in x, y into my equation? Yes? The negative 1 where x is and the yeah. 4 with the you have Yes, exactly. You have a negative 1, that's your x value, plug it in for x. And your point y, you can plug it in for 4. All right? Because, um, one thing, because your point are what make up a line. So if I plug in 4, because that's my y coordinate, equals negative 1 times negative 1 plus b. So I want you guys to take your x and y coordinates that I gave you and plug them in for your x and y into your equation. So now everybody should have your, your y's plugged in, your x is plugged in, and your slope is plugged in. The only thing we still don't know, I know, the only thing we still don't know is your y-intercept. So now we say 4 equals 1 plus b. Now guys, remember, we have to figure out what our y-intercept is. We don't know what the y-intercept is. So I have to solve for b. So to get rid of my 1 with my b, this 1 is being added to b, so I'm going to subtract 1. So I have 3 equals b. So when I go back to my equation, y equals mx plus b, Remember when we first learned this, we were already given what the slope was, and we were already given the y-intercept. And I just said, you know, plug it in. So now, do you guys know what the slope is? You're given the slope, right? So it's negative 1. Uh, instead of writing a negative 1, I'm just going to write a negative x. Then, now, when I plugged in my x, y, and my slope, I solve for b, and I now get my y-intercept. So therefore, it's going to be plus 3. All right, go to lunch.